Do you have pain in your knee right about here? Sometimes people even hear some like grinding or crackling, kind of like Rice Krispie treats. Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to assess the pain in your knee and show you a trick on how you can test it. And if you pass that test, I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do to start working on eliminating that pain. Stick with me. Now I have to preface this video with don't take this as only medical advice, right? This is for educational purposes only. If you're having knee pain, you definitely need to get that checked out by a doctor. But today I wanna to show you how to address a common knee issue that happens in not only cheer athletes, but in a lot of people. So uh, I had an athlete recently that had this exact same thing, and we used this really easy test to determine exactly what we need to do to get her pain down. She's been doing a rehab, and her knee pain is going away very, very quickly. So this pain that happens on the inside of our knee here, right by our kneecap, and a lot of times right under the kneecap, can come from when our kneecap is not really in the right place. And what we call that is tracking. So your kneecap is designed to move up and down in a groove on the bones in your leg. And when that up and down motion gets kind of lopsided, it can create pain in your knee. Now what that typically will look like is pain with squatting. And also you'll get what's called movie goers knee. Now that sounds really silly, but when you sit in a movie for a really long time and your knees are bent just like this, and you're hanging out watching the movie, enjoying the wonders of uh, Bring It On or, or maybe a, an Iron Man movie or something, uh, your knee starts to get achy and it hurts, right? So once you stand up or you straighten, you're like, oh, that feels so good. That's taking the pressure of the kneecap off the leg. So I'm gonna show you a test on how to see if what's going on with your knee is that tracking issue and then show you how to eliminate that. So uh, we're gonna grab a strip of our rock tape. We're gonna take a strip about that big. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna straighten our leg out completely. We wanna make sure that our knee is relaxed. Now, you may have done this. I remember as a, when I was younger, I used to love making my kneecap do this little kind of floaty thing. So that's actually testing the tracking position of our knee. And so what we can do is take a strip of our, of our rock tape, take the paper off the back, and we're gonna place that right on the outside portion of our kneecap. So right about here. Okay, then what we do is we apply a little bit of pressure to push our kneecap slightly into the inside. And we would tape that right there, okay? Now, before doing this test, we want to do a squat and see if that causes the pain that we have in our knee. And if it does, once we tape our knee, we're gonna go back through and we're gonna test our squat. So let's say we squatted before, that reproduced the pain that we have in our knee, we would put this tape on, push the kneecap a little bit to the inside, lay that tape down, and then we try our squat again. If that reduced our pain, that's what we're looking for. What that tells us is our kneecap is tracking out to the outside too much. And so as we squat down, the kneecap is getting bumped into the sides of that groove that it's supposed to be centered in. And so if that's the case, what that means is when we look at our thigh muscles, we have four muscles here that move our kneecap up and down when we straighten our leg, okay? Two of those muscles are really important with where the position of our kneecap is. One comes down on the outside and one comes down from the inside. Now, if we tape our knee and we apply a little, our kneecap and we apply a little bit of pressure towards the inside and that helps our pain, what that tells us is this inside muscle is not doing as efficient of a job as it should. And so it's not keeping the kneecap centered. It's allowing this guy over here to pull the kneecap out to the side. So what we can do is try to get this muscle to stop doing so much work and help this muscle to do more work so that it keeps our kneecap right in the middle. And so the way we can do that is with either our rad rod or our foam roller, we're gonna work on rolling the outside part of our thigh muscle. Now what we're looking for here is tight, tender areas that when we find, we want to stay on and work through those muscles. Now, if you find a tender area, if you're using your rad rod, you can apply that pressure and just roll back and forth. If you're using your foam roller, you would be rolling on the ground, and when you find that tender area towards the middle and outside of the thigh, you would just start to bend and straighten your leg to work on loosening up that knot. Now, once we get done with about two to three minutes of rolling, really taking care of the tender parts of our thigh, 
we want to work on strengthening this inside muscle of the knee. Now, there's a lot of research that says you can't really isolate single muscles in the thigh. And while that's true, we can, we can put emphasis on certain muscles depending on how we use our thigh muscles. And so for that inside muscle here that's shaped kind of like a teardrop, that muscle is primarily responsible for the last little bit of extension that our knee gets when we straighten it. And so instead of doing a giant knee extension, which would work all the muscles, we wanna isolate this guy. We wanna get him working a little bit more by himself. And so the way we do that is we place our foam roller on the floor, laying down with it underneath our knee. And from there, we're going to lock out our knee and hold that for 10 seconds. Then we relax. Then we would lock it out again, hold for 10 seconds and relax. And we would repeat that process for 10 rounds of 10 seconds. Now what we're looking for is we should start to feel a little bit of burning in that muscle. We'll start to feel spicy as I like to say. And if we do feel that, we're make, we are working the right muscle. If we get to that third round of 10 seconds or that fourth round and we're still not feeling that burning, what we can do is we can turn our foot slightly out, which will put more emphasis on that guy and again, continue with that knee extension. Now we would perform this each day, twice a day for 10 rounds of 10 seconds. And again, our foam rolling or our rad rod rolling for two to three minutes. And then we went to ice. Now the coolest part about this particular injury, I know cool and injuries, roll with me here. The coolest part about this is with that tape test, we saw that when we squatted first, it caused pain. When we taped our knee, it reduced our pain. So while we are working on this process of fixing this injury, you can tape your knee just like that before you do athletic activities and it will keep your pain down, if not gone, in the meantime. So you can actually trick your knee into not hurting with this tape. But the most important thing is you have to do the exercises to get this guy feeling uh, stronger. Because if not, you can't tape your knee forever. I mean, you can, but that's not really what a good athlete does, right? So perform this rehab each day, and then each day retest that squat test to see is it still causing pain. And as it reduces, continue going until the knee pain is gone, and then you no longer have to tape your knee. How cool is that? Thanks so much for joining me for this video. I really hope you don't have knee pain, but if you do, maybe this test will help you. Now, I know you're probably thinking, what if that doesn't work? We'll tape it the other direction and see if that helps. And if that does, then that means that this muscle isn't strong enough. And so we would then work, instead of the last bit of extension, we'd work all the way up until that point, right? Makes sense. Use your logic. You, you, you can figure that out, right? This muscle, last bit, this muscle, everything else, right? Hope this helps you with your knee pain. If you have more questions about knee pain, again, make sure you get that checked out by a doctor. Don't just rely on this information. Make sure you get it evaluated properly. But if you want more videos on knees, click right here. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, click right here. And I will see you on our next video.